Right, okay, so I'm going to do the Hong Kong today, okay, today, uh, the wrap up, lah. because you never know what's going to happen at the end of the day, uh, that's why I, was, I, 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 I like, you know, so, uh, 2008 uh, stayed within our expectations, basically it bounced off the, what do you call these, uh, the bottom uh, support, lah, the band, lah. okay, the bottom band support it bounces off so generally i i i don't really see uh, anything to be super alarmed off okay but i think it could it can fall a bit more okay so 2008 has the possibility to fall a bit more okay so all i do is just take this line and then just pull it like that right um generally i i really don't see anything uh, to be like nothing has changed eh, from the thing except that if this breaches then we are in trouble uh, but is either that or it's going to rebound soon so it's either we are in trouble or we're going to rebound soon so uh, the moving averages still show uh, upwards momentum lah. okay so it's still positive both are still sloping up it's still quite healthy and this is seen as a normal pullback lah, by the uh, moving averages so it's not so bad until like jialat but it's not so good either lah. okay now what is interesting is that 3067 uh, despite the very lousy uh, Candles that we saw here, right? We saw this was oh, this was. I call this a trap candle, uh, the the green like with that, very long tail at the top is trap candle. So it was green first, so everybody thought of buying. Right, but then everybody ran away. Palm was to bluff people. Then the second one is about the same, but it showed some indecision. It tried to go down, but you know, um, it's not gonna have. Uh, any of that lah. So basically, the market said, eh, "Nah, we're not gonna go down either." Okay. So how? Do, what? What do I think about these? Uh? So the key to remember is they did a uh, rescue uh, yesterday on the bond side uh, for the Chinese markets. Uh. Okay. So they did some sort of a bond rescue in the Chinese markets yesterday, which actually pushed up the Shanghai and the Shenzhen index. Uh. Okay, so that's fine and dandy, Robert, but what does that mean for our investment, right? It means that from the way I look at it, this is supposed to go down very drastically, right? based on the trap, the bull trap. But then the market feels that it should not go down that drastically, which I am a little bit confused of. Okay, so the market doesn't feel like it should go down that drastically. So, what the fuck, right? So, this already breached. Uh, I'm not going to make an issue about it. So, the next support is supposed to be somewhere here. Lah. Okay. So, what do you think? Is it going to bounce or not? So, usually, uh, after a very bearish candle, if it doesn't drop that bad, that means there is quite a decent support here. Okay, so what kind of support do we have here? Um, this is just a theory, but I believe this is the one, two, three, four, five at work. Lah. So this is one, this is two, right? And this is three, this is four, right? So four cannot go down below here. Lah. That's what I think. Lah. Okay, cannot go down, you know, that's the law. Lah. That's the rule, lah, okay? But sometimes it does go down a bit. Lah. Uh, overshoot a bit is okay but cannot be too much and then it's going to go up for the final uh, five right and then after that it's going to do an abc corrective wave so what do i think uh like i i think uh the shots uh the shots they don't really dare to shot it that that badly now because they know that the moment they shot it really badly, like they whack it down until about, uh, maybe they whack it down to this level, uh, okay, to maybe 6.9. They know that 
the government is going to step in immediately because in the government side now if they fail to contain this then the whole stock market for Hang Seng and Shanghai is gone for a decade I think maybe for a decade maybe for two decades maybe for three decades but for what I see at least for five years it's gone maybe nobody will trust the Hong Kong stock market anymore nobody is going to trust the Shanghai market anymore nobody is going to trust the Shenzhen market anymore even the locals also don't want to buy so how like that what do you think is either that or that law that means is the government aware that this is a serious issue it looks like it right because the previous uh, 10 cent regulations the guy was walked back and he was fired so it looks quite serious huh? so the government looks like pretty serious about it but they keep getting shorted and they want to find some way to attack this right so one way to attack the short is to trap them right you make sure they keep shorting until until no tomorrow then you trap them you whack them you scare them and you whack them you put your bullets in then you whack them and you you push your own stock market up and then they, they are sitting on losses they have no choice but to cover that is the only way you destroy shots right by squeezing them you squeeze them you whack it up okay and you whack it up in a way that is very powerful they got no time to cover then they die right so you need a two TNT basically you need a two TNT kind of candle right you need you need to destroy them so you want two TNT and the two TNT no matter what they have to uh, buy later they have to buy they have to buy so the government are they willing to put money in to attack to destroy the shots I don't know okay I don't know right I don't know whether they are willing to do to do all that stuff because this is a communist country this is not a uh, you know what I mean, right? This is not a normal kind of country. This is not a normal capitalistic country, but this is a communist country. Are they willing to do that? To whack it until so bad? Okay. So what I'm thinking is that my guess, uh, if, if they want to do that, they have to make this, they have to make the shots commit themselves even more. Right? Maybe shot, let, let the shots go in until this much until around here cannot be the lowest because the lowest they will cover it they will scat maybe somewhere here right and then they whack it up they push it up okay so they push it up uh in the hopes that they want to destroy the enemy like, this time do i think they're gonna push it up hmm. i don't know eh? i don't know how the government of the chinese thing if this was American government, I think they will. But Chinese government, this one uh, seems a bit, they don't really care about the stock market, right? So I am 50-50. Looking at the moving averages, uh, the 150 MA is starting to slope down. I don't really see uh, uptrend here anymore. So the uptrend is really broken. La. Can it resume? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. In fact, I am. In fact, it already broke the the line here. Already. So it's already broken, lah. I think the 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 thing is already broken. Is it possible for it to come back? The channel they already broke out, right? So the question is, is it possible come back? I don't know. Right. So I think a lot of people is hoping for uh, government intervention. Even the shots don't dare to shot. Look at that. Even the shots they don't dare to attack too much. Usually they are very uh, flagrant in attacking, right? But now they are like thinking, you know, should we should we still shot? Should we still shot? Should we still shot? Right. So looking at this, I don't know. Okay. So from what I see, uh, usually, uh, now they should have run away, really, I think. The shots should have covered, really. Uh, right. Second phase, right. If you take from the lowest to the highest, now this is the second fib actually. So this one at least still got chance of not falling down here, like I think. Uh, okay. But um, let's see how it goes first. Let's see how it goes first. I don't really like what I see like, in a lot of the places. Okay. But uh, 
it's not really as clear cut as I wanted it to be la, the, the up and down movement la. it's very sad but it's not as clear cut as I wanted it to be la. right like very simple then go up uh, push it up by that slowly go up by that but instead it just went up so fast I'm like what the okay what do I think about this a uh, market rally or market downturn I think it's still trying to find the wings la, this one it's trying it's trying to find its wings but if I were you all uh, uh, I wouldn't hope too much uh. okay I wouldn't hope too much on this guy okay so if you ask me uh, uh, if we don't get a rally soon uh, then the upward trend is broken uh, for the Hang Seng Tech sad to say but uh, we're gonna we are not no, no longer in an upward trend if this is not gonna rally soon okay So somebody asked, uh, link read when go up? This is a good question, right? So the first question I want to ask you is, what is the thesis for link read? What are you buying this for, lah, basically, right? You're buying this uh, with the hopes that uh, the US is going to cut the rates, right? Okay, the US is going to cut the rates, okay, and you know, uh, the things are going to happen. So this one is an anomaly. Uh, it should actually break out on the upside, but instead it broke out on the downside, right? That means uh, it's very. How do I say this? Uh, very panicky, uh, The Hang Seng market. So this one is a possibility that it's going to come down lower, maybe twenty eight, right? Maybe twenty eight. So I'm queued up for twenty eight. I think it's going to come down to twenty eight. Um. Or maybe yeah somewhere around 28 or 27.8 around there i wouldn't be surprised lah, looking at the hong kong market so it's still in the downturn uh the thesis for this is very simple uh market rate cut right and later uh at the end of the day and then you wait for china to stabilize the hong kong to stabilize right and then wait for the usa interest rate cut for the property uh, hong kong chinese property to stabilize and then on the same time you wait for USA interest rate cut. How long? Three to five years, man. This one. Yes, this is a three to five years investment holding period. So do expect to add more huh, as it drops. This is not hundred percent palm. No explode upwards. No. Nope. Okay. Same thing with Hang Long. Uh. Same thing. Uh. Hang Long. Same. Same. No. No difference. Three to five years holding period. Uh, still the same. There is not really much difference from uh, that one. Yeah. So another three to five years holding period, uh, I think it reached a very nice buy point. I think uh, Daniel got the best buy today, 6.58. We all went in at 6.6. .6. So yeah, he win us by two cents. And that's not bad. Lah. But then it's, in the long run, two cents is about... zero point three percent so there is it's not really important uh, I think for such don't have to don't have to haggle the two per, the, the two cents uh. if drop good enough then can buy uh. so next buy point uh, would be somewhere uh, six point four uh. but six point four is six is maybe too close uh. maybe six point three right maybe six point two who knows next one will be five point nine five point five and then last one will be 4.4 so it's crazy but it does have the possibility of coming down this low okay uh what do i think uh hang low should do hang low should buy itself back it's so cheap it doesn't make sense right hang low should use shouldn't actually look i'm pretty sure the, the boss have some money la, stashed out somewhere right what he should do is he should just buy this man. It's just so cheap, man. It's crazy. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you all. Uh, I think he should just buy this thing. It doesn't make sense anymore. The pricing is slowly and slowly doesn't make sense. So it's like 
Chinese uh, property is priced almost like zero like that. Does it make sense to you? Maybe, I don't know. For some of you, maybe who thinks that, oh yeah, Chinese properties is not worth anything. And this is what they did to MPEG. Lah. A lot of these people who actually sold MPEG, lah, uh, I'm sorry, uh, but they are pricing in the Chinese assets lah, as zero, you know. It's how crazy it is, you know, the MPEG. Right? So I think today, uh, the thing went to 1.21, right? And again, Pixel FOMO again, right? Say that, what I should have sold yesterday, right? So it's the, the, the hindsight trader, okay? So I always warn you all, uh, please, uh, do not, what? Trade using hindsight. Cannot, right? You cannot trade using hindsight, okay? You cannot trade using hindsight because if you know what's going to happen in the future, you're going to be rich really. You don't have to do anything. You can stack up the options, then you whack. Right? You just sit down there, do nothing. You just sit down there, do nothing. Like idiot like that, you get the money. You become super rich. So again, I have to warn you all, don't be an idiot huh? and think that it is it, it always like that. The way it works is like that. So please, uh, rule number one is what? Don't be idiot. Rule number one. Right? You cannot know the future by using the past, okay? But you can try to predict, but it's not always 100%, right? So this one, I think uh, in this market, I think FCT is a good buy. MLT is still a good buy. Uh, CFA is a good buy. 7.4 is a good buy. CICT, I don't think so. I think it's quite high in fact. Maybe I, I want to sell some CICT and buy some FCT and wait for CICT to come down a bit. Maybe, who knows. Parkway Life is a bit too expensive. But Parkway Life has always been expensive. Lah. This is like the primary in Singapore, like the most prime lah, where everybody, you know what I mean. Lah, oh? Where everybody is a, is a king like that. Lah. The, the, the Parkway Life. So what do I think about Parkway Life? Uh, it's very boring. Lo. Right? It's very boring. And... Um, you know, actually, Parkway Life used to be much cheaper. Then it went up, went up, went up, went up, went up, went up. Then it came down, came down, came down, came down, came down. Came down. I wonder what happened uh, to, to, to here. Why is the dividend... Uh, the dividend... Sh that one, you must check. Uh. 0 0.039, 0 0.076, 0 0.0... Yeah, the good. I think this one became a prime breed uh, because they keep increasing uh, their dividends. Uh. Look at the DPU. Right, the DPU suddenly go up. Yeah, so this one, yeah, always increase DPU one. That's why it's very steady. Uh, this why everybody likes it. Okay. FCT, wow. you can see the dividends from here. La. It's about flat, la, but uh, overall, if you look out uh, two or three or four years back, la, or six years back, la, it's actually increasing. La. Right, from three cents, four and a half cents, six cents. Now it's six cents again, right? Um, yeah, six cents. Now it's roughly six. Now it's four and a half. Yeah, it's roughly six cents. Uh, uh Fraser Center Point, I know is six cents. It's like, um, how do I say? Uh, a lot of you will say that ah, this is useless piece of shit, right? Six cents only. So it's only 12 cents. But 12 cents is not bad, lah. Right? 12 cents divided by 2.0. It's about 5.6%. It's decent. It's not superb. It's decent. It's not like to die for, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it like, for Singapore reads. Hong Kong reads, like, what to do? Like? Hong Kong, if you ask me, like, 
you can sell a bit of the 3067 uh, if you want a bit lah okay 2008 is actually quite strong but if you sell 2000 if you sell 3067 you must go in and buy the individual components the individual components the one that is going to go up soon i think is baba right I think Baba is one is very interesting. This one I think might go up soon. Baidu, the more it goes down, the more it goes down. I think at to a certain point, I think maybe ten to twenty percent more than it, it is gonna look interesting. JD, uh, yeah, JD is a bit weird because um, nobody, maybe nobody expected it to come down again. But when I think. The moment it come down, nobody want to buy it. That's that's the way the chart stock goes, right? So is JD a buy now? So JD in the first place, uh, If you look at it, the, the the way it went up was a bit too unnatural. Why? Because it's actually shittier than Alibaba, right? It's not as good as Baba. Okay, I look at JD and Baba, and I say that ah, Baba is better. I would rather buy Baba than JD at these prices now. So, if you are looking for the momentum for trading and everything, uh, I think Baba beats JD. La. That's my take. But the only thing is, uh, Baba, JD has always uh, solidly given out the dividends uh, and then do the buybacks. So, if you ask me, uh, Robert, which one will you buy now? Definitely Baba. Why? Uh, sideways trade uh, seems quite interesting here. It seems like it has a, maybe a few more buy points uh, before it can go up. So this one, I think, has a potential later for it to come down there after that bounce back up. Uh. Potential. Uh. Potential. Uh. High, high, high chance. Uh. Okay. So you want to buy at the four, four phases. One, two, three, four. And then um, this is a trade. Uh. This is not an investment. Uh. Then whenever it goes up to somewhere here or here, 77 then you can you know you can start selling right the next phase will be here right 77 then the next one will be 87 around there okay so do i think baba is going to go back to 150 or not the answer is no okay no i'm sorry but no right but baba is now is approaching the lowest lah so there is this possibility lah this is going to come down to here 67 ah you are worn already, uh. you are worn already. Uh. Okay. So my take is uh take it easy lah. No need to kanchong so much about Baba. But if you want to buy, you can buy now a bit bit by bit, bit by bit, buy buy your way down, then sell the thing upwards later. What do I think about the um, Hong Kong stock market? The Hong Kong stock market is always like that one. Yeah. Mm, looking at this, uh, I mean, there is definitely something wrong if the government needs to intervene every time it needs to go up. So the market wants to go up, but it needs the government intervention. That means there's something wrong in it. In other words, the market is already damaged so badly, there are no more buyers really. Right? First, uh, no buyers because the regulations, right, at that time. Suddenly, they just whack one whole industry, so everybody was scared. What if they whack my industry next? And the tech crackdown scared people, right? Then the C CPFs, Common Prosperity Fund, the name scare people again. Okay, then after the property crackdown, and the property bubble burst, right? So, a lot of things happen. So, this came down, came down, came But let me tell you something. Uh, if you they never do all the stupid shit, uh, it won't come down so low. Uh. Okay, I don't think it's going to come down so low. Uh. So, but at least you know that they're going to intervene somewhere there, right? So you're actually close to the bottom, you know. This is why I feel. Right? For 3067 uh, and 3008, I, I believe they are going to intervene somewhere near the bottom, right? And we are actually near the bottom. Uh. At least we are not buying here at, at the top here, right? Now we are buying this at 18 or 18 the top was 67 man right we are not buying this at the top 
so we at least know that they are going to intervene here this 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 side okay so there is this intervention mat mat matrix la, that we know of okay so if they stop intervening uh, then the bond markets are going to experience a fall also because everybody will lose confidence in the market right bond market will fall then after that stock market definitely maybe fall to uh, 12,000 uh, right the Hang Seng index drop to 12,000 that is a uh, 30 years or maybe 40 years ago price right 30 years ago maybe yeah uh. there's a high possibility that it's going to happen uh, for Hong Kong if they ignore this so uh, the problem is the government uh, it has always been the government the government uh, they don't realize what they have done uh. they don't repent and they don't realize what they have done so they don't admit that they are wrong uh. they just persist in doing what they do wrong right but now it's a bit like oh shit we are screwed so now they are starting to be scared you know okay so now they are very scared lah. I, I look at as like, wow, they are very scared really. Die really this time. Uh, we are still in a downtrend, even from the monthly, monthly that one, uh, still in a downtrend. So this one, they, I think it wouldn't be surprising it comes back to 1998 uh, prices. Oh, around here maybe, or maybe around here. 7,000, 7,000 I don't know lah. But 7,000, I, I, I don't think so lah, because there will be a lot of dividend stocks. That means the Hang Seng Index will be yielding about, what, two and a half times it is now. It's 7,000. So that is about 8%, 9% Hang Seng Index alone. I don't think so lah. That was too ridiculous really. But my, my, my I think uh, here is possible, eh, 12,000. For me, uh, I'm guessing 12,000 is the next stop for the Hang Seng Index if they don't stop it. Do I think they have the power to stop it? Of course, they have a lot of power. But it's whether they realize later that... Uh, sub, but they may, they may decide to like, ah, yeah, you know what, screw it. Lah. Don't need to talk things so much. Lah. Let it fail. Lah. Then later, after the thing fail, lah, it's going to cause a cascading event. You know? Right? So the loss of trust... Huh? I think it will be a liquidity event. Nobody wants to lend the Hong Kong and Chinese companies money. Because they cannot list their stocks. Their stocks become worthless, right? Especially if some of them, they, they pledge stocks as a collateral in the bank. Wow, oh, I tell you. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this now. Uh, I think it is very close to a uh, liquidity event, really, if they don't intervene. So this is a uh, Hang Seng Index, uh, is actually uh, very close, uh, very close to a liquidity event, uh, okay. That may destroy the country, uh, event, or disrupt the country, okay. So this is very close to liquidity event, really. So Robert, what what do you think about that? Uh, because it's not matter of me, I'm not the one in charge, uh, okay. If I'm the one in charge, I would be actually protecting the thing, like. I would be scared, you know, but they don't seem to be scared. Uh. You know why? You know why? Because they are not that smart. These guys are old people. They don't understand the importance of the stock market. Right? Close to a liquidity event. They don't understand. Right? The young ones, the ones that understand, they are scared. So they keep telling, hey, you got to bail this out, man. Hey, you got to bail this out. But the old guys, the one that the Politburo, right? The... Emperor sees and his uh, friends, they are scared. They, they don't care. They don't know what they don't understand. What it's a farmer, right? They are farmers. They're, what the fuck is a stock market? Who gives a fuck if it fails? Let it fail, let it go to zero. Holy shit, man. If it goes to zero, let's say they said, you know what, let it fail, let it go to zero. Who gives a fuck? What's going to happen? There's going to be a liquidity event, right? Major liquidity event, right? The bonds are going to fall, right? Nobody's going to lend them money, right? And then uh, the stocks are going to fall. That those guys who lend the stocks, I think it's going to cause a major liquidity event. When I look at this uh, uh, and the way they are handling things, uh, if they don't handle it right, uh, it may really cause a, a liquidity event. Okay. So, so far, 
uh, they are stop, they are doing the backstop here. At least they are doing some some kind of backstop, right? So if I were to draw the the lines, uh, there's a backstop here, right? So at least there's some there's a backstop uh, that's happening here. Uh, but looking at this line, well, I don't know. I look at it. There's a possibility it may come down here, fall down here again. Right. There is always that possibility. Come down here and fall down here again. But then eventually it's going to be rescued and pushed up again. Right. Why? They can't afford it. They can't afford a liquidity event. It's so disastrous. The whole industry will be dried up companies cannot get loans and all that okay so i don't think we are going to have that la, right although uh, some people will be salivating la. so they are praying the, the emperor c and his friends to be doing all the wrong stuff right but the answer is central seems to know that this is very important and dangerous and they have been doing uh, a lot of stuff but they are not doing enough to actually stabilize the whole market right so how, how to stabilize the whole market well it's very simple improve your relationship number one and number two stop the funny funny regulation right stop the funny funny regulation and sudden and very drastic regulation number three Start printing money, man. That's what you need now. Okay. Number four, you gotta solve the property problem. Solve it, man. No choice, really. If you don't solve the property problem, uh, you're dead. Your economy will be stagnant. Okay. So you gotta solve the property crisis, uh. No matter what you wanna do, you gotta solve it, uh. And then the last thing you need to do is also. Um, you need to stop doing things in such a high-handed way, right? You freak out the market, uh, wow, everybody run away. So I think China and Hong Kong, they only got a few chances left. Uh. If they do something bad, something weird again, right? That goes against the free market theory. Uh, and uh, they use some kind of thing called common prosperity fund thing, uh, I think uh, it's gonna. It's not a lost decade because the companies are still earning money, and no matter what, the companies can just give it out the excess earnings as dividends. But it's not going to lift off again. <laughs> it's just gonna stay very stagnant. Okay. So they gotta do something, lah. Right? They gotta do something. So this is already very close to a liquidity event. That's why they they, 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 they cover. That's why they, they block. That's why they, they, they backstop. So I think if it comes down again, they're going to backstop again. Remember that. Why? Because if they don't backstop, this the next stop will be here. 12,000. Oh my God. I think the whole Chinese market. I think. Wow. It's very scary if it does not go 12,000. Is it possible to come down there? Possible, of course. I think there will be a major liquidity event. 